aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture, or fish farming, and hydroponics, growing plants without dirt in nutrient-rich water. It's an ancient concept, but a comparatively new scientific field. Virginia State University is on the cutting edge with plans to expand the horizon of aquaponics indoors. We're controlling the weather, we're controlling the temperature so we can grow food year-round. DSU professor Dr. Marcus Comer says garden produce, lettuce, tomatoes and herbs grow alongside tilapia and trout in a symbiotic relationship. Plants grow from the nitrates and waste in the water from the fish. In turn, the plants clean the water for the fish, circulating it through a closed system. Feed the fish, and they feed the plants. He says the three-story warehouse building they'll use on South Union Street in downtown Petersburg is a perfect fit. There's about 5,200 square feet, 5,200 plus square feet, of a basement and three floors. We know the first floor would be for production, probably the second floor, and then the third floor would be classrooms. And then there's also space for uh, laboratories where we can do our, all of our analysis um, and then there's a space that's already set up that's great to, to locate the store and the cash registers. You have docks already set up. There are freezers that, that are already there because the school board used it to store food as well so we have uh, working freezers already in place. Aquaponics reuses water very efficiently the traditional hydroponic system is level. In the new lab, trays will be set in vertical tiers, saving space, utilizing gravity to assist water flow, saving power. When grow lights are added, they'll be LEDs, requiring less electricity. One of the goals of the new lab is to make it as off-grid as possible. Worldwide, the science of aquaponics matters most wherever fresh water is scarce, especially densely populated island countries. In Petersburg, an area with few grocery stores to supply fresh produce, the new VSU lab wants to make an impact on the community. The facility will, will be primarily a research facility, but our outcome will be we will have food, fresh food available that we will use uh, mobile units. We plan to get some old school buses or some old delivery trucks and take that idea, the whole ice cream truck idea, take it to the community, to sell in those communities where you have a lot of people that don't have access to vehicles. And then also the location is right across from the new bus station, so as people are, are moving around town, they can always stop by and pick up what they need. Because uh, in addition to the mobile units, we will have a on-site store. Funding is in place now in the indoor aqua farm, university research lab, classrooms and produce market should be up and running this year. John Ogle, WCBE News.